It's May 23rd and we're going to be performing an inspection of our package hive that has been installed for about a month and a half, a little bit more. Uh, we have already gone to three deeps on this hive, so we're just looking to see how well the queen is laying, make sure that we're seeing the brood build, the population of the hive build. Since I'm feeding one-to-one -to, -one to this hive uh, and it's building its population, um, the goal here is to try to get a lot of young bees in this hive. And so when I added this third box, I did have enough drawn out comb that I could have given them all eight frames of drawn out. Uh, but I gave them, as you can see, uh, four of these um, eight frames are new uh, as of uh, about two weeks ago. Um, sorry, week and, about ten days ago. Uh, so anyhow, um, the goal here is you put those in between drawn out frames and you're hoping they'll start drawing them out. So here's an example of one of the frames that I gave them. And in the last ten days, you can see that they've begun to draw this one out quite a bit. So they're doing exactly what we'd like. Um, and uh, that's also one of the things that I did to encourage them to come into the top box is that frame next to it has kept worker brood on it. A little bit of drone brood as well, but mostly worker brood. And when those bees hatch out, one of their first jobs will be to start drawing comb. And so they have some very good target frames very near where they're hatching out to get to work, which may well explain why that one has been drawn out as much as it has. We'll look at the one next to it, on the other side of it, see how they're doing on that one. Looks like they're starting, they've started on that one as well. Not as much, but they do have some. So they are doing as we'd like. So there you go. So this is an excellent sign. Lots of bees in the middle box already, uh, which tells us either A, the queen has moved up in there and she's laying eggs in there, so there's lots of brood hatching out in there, or B, uh, they're just, their population is going up, and that's a great sign too. So notice that I've got a couple of new frames in that box as well. I'll pull those out shortly and see if they've been drawing those out. Uh, just like I was talking about in the top box, uh, I put those next to uh, frames of capped brood so that when those bees emerged they'd be able to start drawing out wax immediately. So here we are the second frame in on our middle box and there's our queen. And uh, I figured she was in this box because on the other side of this frame before I looked at this side uh, I noticed that there was lots of eggs. And there's actually quite a few in this one as well. I don't know if you're going to be able to see those or not because the sun's not shining real bright right now. It's kind of in and out of the clouds but as you can see She's making lots of bees. All these little girls, well, and there's a few drones in here too, are, uh, are from her. She's doing a great job. So here is a really nice example of what can happen when you put a brand new frame next to a frame between two frames of capped brood. That is 10 days worth of work from this hive on just that one frame. Beautiful. You can tell by the uh, color of the wax there that they've been bringing in lots of dandelion nectar. Uh, I've definitely noticed that some of the frames have a yellowish tint to them as does the honeycomb itself.